Okay, so we have moved on to a new game. So this is a sequel to Secret of Mana, I believe, directly. Question mark? Question mark, question mark. And so what we're going to end up doing is we are going to have to pick our party in just a moment. However, Twitch is not letting me update something. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, let's not focus on that for now. We got time to fix that later. Let's go ahead and switch into the game where we could see I was messing with the pairing. And let's go ahead and start up the collection of mana for the final game in the collection. The little rab light bouncing there. So I mentioned a little bit to the chat earlier, but they actually have to choose our party. So we can see all six characters here. I'm curious how much I remember of their names. I think the one on the far left is called Kevin. He's a shapeshifter werewolf kind of thing. I believe the character in between them and the other person is Angela, who's a mage. We got your ultra generic fighter character. We have Charlotte, who's a healer attacking with the flail. We have Hulk, the thief. And we have a character I didn't play with, so I have no idea what their name is. But hey, we'll find out, I think, at some point. Let's confirm into the game. And essentially, we get to pick our main story. So the way this game works is that you are immediately going to pick your three characters, and that will determine the final boss that you play. We're not going to play through every single character. I just want to get a feel for the game itself. So if chat's all any favorites there, keep it in your head for now. But we're going to select our party in just a moment. Let's read the intro. When the world was shrouded in darkness, the goddess of mana drew forth the sword of mana to smite the eight Benevo Benevodans, monsters of destruction. She sealed the horrors inside the eight mana stones, bringing the realm back from the brink. Weak from rebuilding the world, the goddess changed into a tree and fell fast asleep for years. However, the forces of evil sought to free the Benevodans to gain the control of the world. They started a terrible war to further their plot and destabilize the kingdoms. Peace was at an end. I also just realized the remake and this game have the same name. I hope I gave that the right category. I'll feel so bad later if I didn't. Mana itself began to disappear from the world, and the mana tree to wither. There we go, chat. There's our plot. I can hear hints of the original Secret of Mana soundtrack in this. So we could call this game Secret of Mana 2 or Saiken Denetsu 3, whichever you prefer. But for today, it is Trials of Mana. Little orbs of light. So I will say as a disclaimer, a very long time ago, I played this game once. I don't remember a lot of the tricks for this game. So this will be very interesting getting back into this game. Let's do our best. 1995 chat. Never came out in the US. So we can see our six characters here. I don't even know if it tells you their name before you select them. 
Ooh, chat. Stereo or mono. Ooh. Oh, normal or wide? How is that a sound setting? What do you mean wide? What is wide sound? <laughs> I'm reminded of that dumb Advance Wars quote where he's like, those are some fat beats. <laughs> That's what I remembered. <laughs> anyway, well, let's select new game, I guess. So... I, I don't know enough about the characters. I'm trying to do a very quick look up without spoiling the game too much for me. But essentially, chat, you get to decide who you want to see the tale of. The first two characters are basically going to really guide the story. The first and the second will... Uh, I guess the best way to put it is kind of alter what we see first. And they also, as I said before, determine the final boss of the game. Oh, the, the, the soldier character's name is Durin. There we go, I wasn't sure who they were. So this game also, from what I recall, has another kind of system with it, which makes it kind of interesting when it comes to replayability. So unlike some of the other games, we will end up with uh, the ability to pick our classes. Middle guy is a safe bet. The only thing I know about this character is he's broken. <laughs> it's like, listen, chat, I have very limited knowledge. I am pretty sure this is one of the strongest characters in the game. He has a bug. I, I know, chat, I know. T take a deep breath. Just not in a mana game. There's no way they're... Yeah, anyway, yada yada. So he's one of the buggiest characters in terms of damage. I think I played with him... Him... And her on my first playthrough. I don't think they play anything like the remake, Calvisham, if that's what you're trying to state. Uh, you are going to be very disappointed. I think in terms of magic, Angela is pretty good. Charlotte's more of a support character. Then you kind of have like the Valkyrie, I believe is her title, where she's a bit of a mix. I guess I could give a background on each of the characters because I don't intend on playing as most of them unless chat really wants them. So we could play as Durand, who's an orphan mercenary swordsman of the Grasslands Kingdom of Alcinia. We have Angela, who's the only princess of the ice-covered magic kingdom of Altina. We have Charlotte, or excuse me, we have Kevin First, uh, who is the prince of the feral beast kingdom place? And he's a werewolf, so his damage will change depending on what time it is. play this I just don't like him as much Calvisham not meant not liking the melee character that does double physical damage compared to everybody else what a madman we have Charlotte who's quote the famous beauty of Wendell uh she's probably more infamously known as having a terrible voice in the remake of the game the chat wants to troll me later we could play with her but you have to sit through it if you select her we have Hawkeye, who's a member of the Guild of Noble Thieves, based in the Desert Sand for Fortress of Navarro. And we have Reese. Could not remember her name. The Princess of the Mountainous Wind Kingdom of Laurent. So we're gonna select Lena. I don't super know her story. I guess we'll find out. This will be new to me. So we have Leneth, spelled the way the chat spelled it. We're gonna do Twinkle. I'm so scared to go diagonal. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm like, no, no, no. I, I don't think the SNES will like that input. Twinkle the way this chat spelled it, and then needs a haircut. Or just need a hair. Need. Only need. Okay. Need. A. Haircut.
There we go. Now we're good. So we're passing over the Snowy Kingdom, and I believe we're going to go to the Mountain Kingdom in just a moment. For the mercy of YouTube, I will trim the, the chat trying to figure out who to select. <laughs> but people on Twitch, they got to sit through that. That's, that's on Twitch chat. Lenneth, Princess of Laurent, the Kingdom of Wind was performing her duties as captain of the Amazon Guard. I will take care of it. Observe. Captain Lenneth, please be careful. Just immediately thrust into combat. Hello there. So already we have a bit more active style of combat. There we go. We we had another meter. So you might have noticed near our, our portrait, we have four bars. When it gets to four, if I press the B button, I have like a super attack. Just like think a much better version of the charging up. Because it feels a bit more fluid. Also, damn, this fight takes forever. How is this fight not over? Seriously. How many supers do I need to hit you with? You could die any time now. I did it! It only costs half my HP! I am truly the best warrior! The monster population has increased. And I can feel the cries of the wind. You know what, Chad? I will also just let you select my uh, abilities later when we get an opportunity. The Mountainous Kingdom of Laurent. Atop the crags, the treacherous train set the formidable, impenetrable Citadel of Laurent. You know, they say impenetrable, but I feel like within the first 20 minutes, we're going to see that it's very much penetrable, <laughs> if I had to guess. Thanks to its elite guard of Amazonian fighters, no one had managed to breach the Citadel defenses until... Spoilers, narrator! Spoilers! Now then, it's time for my brother's training. Where has Elliot gotten to? Alright, so let's check out our menus. Oh, I forgot how laggy the menu is in this game. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna drive me wild. <laughs> it's gonna drive me wild. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's not get tilted. I, I know there's like a four second lag when I hit left and right. We're just gonna deep breath. It's gonna have to not menu that often. Uh, you know what? We could change our dialogue box. Why don't we choose... I don't know. Let's try this one, see how it goes. Oh, you can change the color of it. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, gosh, that is heinous. Eh, we'll do purple. Yeah, there's a grid in the bottom right. I'm hitting left and right on the D-pad to go here. So I can change the battle AI. Oh my gosh, it lags even in this. Holy F. Assist Twinkle. I don't know what that really did for us, but we'll find out in a moment. How do I move this? Okay, if hit confirm, but then it just says no moves or whirlwind sphere. That cancels. How do I specifically change this? Or do I just do it once? I don't know what that did. I'm gonna be honest with you. Normally when you select one of these, you kind of slide it up and down. Maybe it's literally like you just select one total. But then like, why show it on a grid? I just... 
my brain is my brain is trying to comprehend the UI. Like, we just played Secret of Mana, so you move it on a grid, and that determines like how aggressive something is or not. But it just feels like these are settings, maybe. And I just choose a setting, and that's it. It just displays it weirdly. We'll just assume that's how that works. Let's go save our other one. Oop. Oh gosh, the lag. So she could become the Valkyrie or the Rune Maiden. I'll make her the Valkyrie. Um, holy, this is so slow. So we have Whirlwind Spear, which I'm assuming is our charge move. I could change the controls a little bit. R and L for ally. Okay, we'll have to remember what that does. We're in the menu system currently. Which is like, oh, it's like, <laughs> it, it feels like I'm like, oh, like try to try to move this giant weight. We seem to have good magic defense, but our normal defense is kind of bad, and our strength is also kind of low. I don't see any spells with this yet. Uh, what about the ring menu? How does the ring menu feel? Oh my bad, controls are reversed. Gotta remember, this is the ring menu. I can't ring menu. Interesting. Maybe we unlock that later. Or maybe it's combat only. Let's talk to somebody, see what our dialogue looks like. Oh, that's not bad. Good morning, Captain. Um, Father, have you seen Elliot? King Joster. Oof, what a name. Interesting question for a blind man. But I sense his location. He is not far. I'm assume, I assume he's still on the ground. That boy, where could he be? He knows what time it is. The chambers of the prince and princess are here. Well, we're gonna go in. Forgive me, your highness. I am not yet done with the cleaning. Oh, I can sleep here. Take a real power nap. Oh, you saved the game. I'm gonna save over my test file. Game saved. Took a while for the big things in her head were not her ears. It's like... It does look very weird in the sprite art. It kind of reminds me of like the dragoon wings. I think that's what they were going for. It's more obvious in her profile image. Reminds me of like the dragon helmet of Kane, for example. The port town of Paolo is at the base of Mount Laurent. Cool. I don't know why you told me that, but sure. Once I'm big, I'm gonna join the Amazon guard just like you, Lenneth. Get out of the way, small child. You're an impediment to me. If somebody's sleeping in. Z, Z, Z. Okay, so already being able to just run the whole time without needing stamina, big improvement. Your Highness, could you perform admirably on the slopes today? My mother would have been proud of how you've taken to your captain's role, as am I. Dialogue seems more sophisticated. I've been stationed here for a long time, but have not seen His Highness. Perhaps you should ask Alma where the little prince is. She should be in his room, to the right of the throne room. Didn't... Didn't I go there? Confusion. We're going back up here. Oh, maybe I didn't. Alma, have you seen my brother recently? Oh, I would have thought he'd be with you. He hardly ever leaves your side, after all. Prince Elliot never knew his dearly departed mother before she passed. You've done an admirable, admirable job filling in her shoes, Lenneth. Uh, we're getting backstory here. Princess Aluren had but one brother, Elliot. Their mother passed away just as soon as the prince was born. She did not live to see her son. The young Lenick would never forget the moment her mother slipped away as her brother was brought into this world. Oliver went mourned the queen's passing, but Lenneth only found peace alone on their sacred mountaintop. There she cried until tears wouldn't come. Also, I'm pretty sure Lenneth is two ends, but I'm not restarting the game. <laughs> Just FYI. 
Always a kind-hearted child, Lena swore to show her brother as much love and affection as she could to make up for the loss of their mother. Mother. Elliot, where are you? Young, young prince, psst. Huh? Hey, you're the prince of the Citadel, right? Want to see something interesting, little boy? Ta-da! I'm a wandering magician here to show you some tricks, young prince. Look! Oh, wow! Now for my multiplying trick! Ta-da! Oh, wow! I have many more tricks up my sleeve. You know the passage under the citadel. I could show you more tricks if you take me there. Yeah, we're leaving it as a... Well, we'll call this Discount Lenneth. <laughs> it's all good. Ooh. Ooh, that vibrating animation as you go up and down the stairs. This castle doesn't teach stranger danger. Apparently not. Well, time for us all to die. There are so many rooms here. Oh, that's a save statue. That's good to know for the future. Game saved! You kind of look like the goddess of Mana, Lenneth. Do we? If you say a prayer at the Mana statue, we record your progress. The golden statue under the citadel also restores your HP and MP. Oh, that's good. I can see our level and MP count at the bottom, which is somewhat useful. Um. Uh, okay. The winged defender of Loren is thought to be the emissator here, the goddess of mana. Why could I just walk through you for like two solid minutes? It's fine. Wah, Prince Elliot stole my snacks. So chat, we've already encountered a glitch, chat. Runs over, it's no longer glitch-free. <laughs> it, it took me literally talking to somebody already glitched it. We did it, chat. We did not get very far. Glitch percentage? Yeah, it's true. We have to switch categories now. So now we know about the different styles of saves. Which is good. I like having the ability to potentially HBMP refill. So I'm glad that they realize that people want that in an RPG. So that's, this is a good sign so far. Elliot, where are you? Lots of cutscenes so far in the game. Come on, show me the tricks. No need to rush. First things first. I'm Bill. And I'm Ben. Oh, I thought you said you multiplied yourself. Show me something good. Never fear, we have a big surprise in store for you. Come on, kid. I, I mean, your highness. Huh? But a smart bo boy like you knows what's in this room. Of course, it's the room where we control the winds of Laurent. But you need this royal key to operate it. I have an idea. How about you turn off the wind with that key? If you do, we can bring your mother back to you with our magic. Don't you want to see her? The wind wasn't so strong, she could come down from the heavens and see you. Turn it off for her. My mother. I, I could see my mother? But, but my sister said I could never turn off the wind. Oh, child, your sister's lying. She knows this magic could bring your mother back, but she's trying to keep her all to her herself. What? No. Hurry, your sister might come and stop you at any moment. Elliot, where are you? See, here she comes now. If you don't stop the wind, you may never get another chance to see your mother. There you go, chat. But... Come on, kid, just do it already. Huh? Elliot! Who are you? Step away from my brother. Wah, Lenneth! <laughs> Without the wind, the Citadel isn't so tough. Navarro Force is already prepared to invade. 
<laughs> the thieves of Navarro will take the citadel and make it the seat of our new nation. It'll be our last big raid, but what a way to go. Wah! You're nothing but filthy spies. You don't have time to fight us, princess. How is your blind leader supposed to defend himself without his trusty guard? No, Elliot, we have to get to father. Can we just turn on the wind? Wait, Lanith. Look at that. Your sister left you to save your own skin. She doesn't care about you. Come with us. Yeah, why did we just abandon him? No. No, she wouldn't. Lanith! Shut up! <laughs> well, that escalated quickly, I guess. Wait, where's Elliot? <laughs> Can I just go back? Love the explosion graphic that was there. That went poorly really quickly, indeed. Elliot! Where are you? Answer me, Elliot! Why did we just leave him? Oh no, this is all my fault! Yeah, it kind of is. Can't turn the wind back on, we need the game to continue, that's fair. Listen, it only has an off. Once the winds are off, it's over. But it doesn't know how to check if someone's behind her, apparently. Well, everybody died, more or less. Hold on! Captain, sleep spores. The spores spread throughout the citadel once the wind stopped. Oh, save the king. Oh, they're actually not dead, they're just sleeping. But that time, not as a joke. Well, maybe you're dead. <laughs> Hello, level one assassin. So there we go. Can't do anything at the gates. Love the random fire graphic every now and then. Things are going well. Hello, assassin. I'm basically walking away from him, because if I'm mashing attack, nothing happens. It forces you to wait the stamina meter that was there in Secret of Mana, essentially, is what I'm getting at. Ooh, nice double strike. It was nice. Oh. King's not looking so hot. Father! Is that you, Lenneth? Father, please, hold on! Give me. The wind told me this day was approaching. I was unable to stop it. The shift in mana has dulled my senses. Father, no! Now Elliot is... I let them... See that Elliot is no longer in the Citadel. The enemy has him. Chat correcting me. Indeed, he is doing ultra hot. Excuse me, because everything's on fire. You're right, chat. Please, Lenneth. You must get him back. Lenneth, why didn't you just turn the key the other way to turn the wind on? It even had a use in case of emergency on it. Oh, I think father died. Father! Father, no! Well, chat, in the span of 10 minutes, the entire kingdom died. Everybody we know is dead. <laughs> Except maybe the brother. Ten out of ten! Yeah! Commandant says, <laughs> Burn! Burn to the ground! Dango just got in here and everyone's already dead. We've destroyed most of the enemy forces. I'll return to Navarro to report our success to Flamecon. Seriously, their name is Flamecon. Everyone, fall back for now. I was gonna say, Chad, was everything good until the Fire Kingdom arrived, or wherever that quote goes?
The wind. Now the wind returns. Oh, you could have just turned the key earlier. Probably gonna stop this. Better than <laughs> better than Saul. That's true. Elliot, what do I do now? My father always said the priest of light in Wendell has the answers. He will surely know what my next move should be. Is it up there with goblin chat? Mother, I leave father and the other fall into your care. Dramatic wind blow. Elliot is my responsibility. Yeah, it kind of is. You let him down. I wear my mother's ribbon with pride. You kind of let him get captured. That was like 1000% your fault. Like, I'll be real with you. That was like one of those things. All we had to do was hold his hand and run. We should cry. And now our journey begins with the chat selected character. Citadel Laurent fell to the agents of Navarro. The princess found herself without a home, a father, and her only brother missing. She set out to find him. No one could know the wheels of fate were already turning for Lenneth, whose story had only just begun. A nice looking ship graphic. I'll give him that. Trials of Mana. Ooh, the early game credits. Are we hearkening back to Final Fantasy 1 bridge scene? Potentially we're getting early names to know who to blame. <laughs> Boss monster chat. Publicity. Ooh. Like that credit title. Anyway, we are clearly in a very big world. So that took us quite a while to get here. Jad Stronghold. Skipper says, something's not right with the town. Watch yourself. East Lugar says, Jad belongs to Ferolia. Don't resist and we may spare you. Ferolian... Yeah, as in like Feral, Ferolian. I see what they did there. Ferolian forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Okay. I don't know if there's really hidden items in this game or not. I really don't remember. Oh, I remember you. We don't have any seeds. That'll be important later. ZZZ. Looking for a place to rest? No charge. Can't do business with Beastmen anyway. Sure, we'll rest. So we could choose the AM or PM. I'm gonna choose to wake up in the morning. So I believe that's Angela. So if we had selected Angela, we could have gotten her here. Luna Day. Sure, we'll save the game. Game saved. Purple hair and blue shoes, I believe is one of the playable characters. At least we can see where she ends up, if we're curious how she got here. We'll probably play the remake right after this, just so Chad is aware. Oh, here's one of our characters. What kind of weapon shop doesn't sell weapons? Come on! These beast guys are itching for a fight. Not sure if I could beat them all on my own, though. Curses. Another customer? Sorry. Fresh out of weapons. Couldn't stop those beastmen from taking the lot. Okay. So we got to interact with some of the characters already, so we selected him earlier. When I was younger, I could have taken it to the beasts in town. Ha! Huh. Not with these old bones, though. What happens if I just talk to the beastmen? Dad belongs to Ferolia. Don't try to resist him, we may spare you. Beastguard says, what's with that look, huh? Move along, human. I'm gonna step away for now. 
I just want to go in the shop. I wasn't talking to you. Get out of here. The happy merchants are back. We got one, two, three gold. Candy is very cheap. Couple wishes is about the same price. I'm getting a lot of these. <laughs> I'm maxing our candy early, chat. Listen. Oh, hello. Here's another character. Ah! Scared me! Shh, don't tell them I'm here, okay? I'm one of them, but not with them. So can't let them see me, okay? Interesting. So I do remember visiting this place. Oh, I don't want to do that. With the other characters, but I had a very different way to get here. So that's interesting that we're here first. Um, I want to go check out the other shops and then we'll try fighting them. Beastmen want to take over Wendell. Someone's got to tell his eminence, the Priest of Light, before it's too late. <sighs> I keep bumping into them. So I'm not talking to them, just touching them initiates the dialogue for clarity for the chat. Oh, here's another character. Is it my place to meddle? But you should stay inside when beastmen are around. Leave once it's dark so they pay less attention. I'm free until then if you're looking for company. Or not. Don't worry, I was joking, see? <laughs> oh. Beastmen of early look like humans during the day, but at night they transform to animals. Don't leave the house after dark, you hear? Psst, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. It's easier to sneak past them. Well, okay, we're gonna take use of the day-night mechanic shortly to get by them, apparently. There we go, we've we found out how to advance the plot. I, I, I'm not scared. Oh, this guy's in the way. Just wanna go talk to all the people here. I'm gonna move slow, so I don't run into them. They say you also don't sell things. Beastmen's are ruining his business. I was hoping there'd be another character to talk to there, but apparently not. So, did I talk to everybody at this point? I think I did. So if we try leaving out the front, what happens? The guards are here. Big walking and get lost. So we're gonna have to wait for Nightfall to get through, but what happens if we actually choose to fight them? Do we just die? Let's find out together, chat. It'll be a fun experience. Fight. If, if it's a fight you want. They hit me so hard the save music played. <laughs> Is that actually a game over? I'm just curious. Oh no, they hit it so hard we went straight to the end. That's fair. Wait, where? I got reduced to 1 HP. Feeling better? Don't go looking for trouble. Those boots won't hold back. Alright, well, we're gonna rest here. Get our HP back. Let's wait till the PM. Alright. Now let's save the game since we're gonna make some progress. Game saved. Now the entrance should be unguarded so I can leave. They turned into level one wolves. Wow, they got downgraded. I'm just totally beat their ass right now. You won. I do remember enjoying the rabbi music. There should be like treasure chests that appear like in the other game. As I said before, the game ends up being kind of like uh, hit them once and retreat. Which makes me sad there's not really like a ranged weapon user. Like I don't have like a javelin or a bow for example. Ooh the miss. Found a chest. 
Kenny's been sent to storage. Nice. So there's a storage mechanic in the game. Today we have learned. Wish there were more things I could do, like combos. It is kind of sad that combat is literally A button and then retreat. Sure, we'll take this. Ooh, I get to choose my fate. Looks like all of those are really horrible. Choose your trap. Unless we hit okay. Oh, we hit okay. Safe. There's the mush boom. I like that it introduces the enemies. Man, that is a long time in between. We have like a little flash whenever we are able to attack again. And then I can sometimes do extra attacks. The kitty went to storage. Again, I want to probably kill most things that I come across, just because one, I can't run if they're there. And then two, we'll need candies. Lots of candies. Astoria's downwards. What if we choose not to go to Astoria? I believe that's a port town. Oh, I thought I was out of range. Apparently was not. Other candy went to storage. Again, that's just candies I don't have to buy later. That's just how I view it, chat. So we are going to get a healer fairly early on. But it doesn't hurt to actually use our magic for damage instead, or something similar. Or buffs. For dealing with bosses. So for now, let's progress. Ooh, I think that's a full HP restore. Nice. Identifying features. So, so far, our game's going okay. We haven't leveled despite killing a million enemies, which has me a little concerned. I touched the sproingy thing. Where did we go? It showed me the port town I chose not to go to, which is fair. Did I get like a multi stab there? So I can just hold A, I don't have to tap it. Interesting. Peaceful landing. I like the little gargoyle statue thing here. Does that mean I'll just automatically attack if I'm holding? Yes, it does. He sleeps for it as he died. Interesting. Another candy to storage. Hello. No one believes me, but I saw it. A strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too. Hmm. Well, that's for a future plot point. Now let's go back to town, I guess. So yeah, it's more a kind of me just kind of staying out of range of them and poking them repeatedly. Using terrain to troll them. On the plus side, we're getting a lot of potential candies out of this. Ultra box. Ooh, I like its little face. Aha, I am truly the master of combat now, chat. Oh! You stay over there where you belong. <laughs> at least we get a good look at the enemy that's completely unable to do anything. Trials of Mana! He's only worth 1 XP after all that. Wow, that was super not worth it. Yeah, we, we've learned uh, terrain is our insurmountable ally. So some things never change. 
Might as well save our victory against the boulder box. I'm sure it did a lot of damage if we ever let it hit us. But uh, we don't have to, so I don't feel like finding out. I think at this point I could just kill them and move on. I think we're good enough. I can build a little meter on these guys, for example, every now and then. Ooh. We get to choose what to level our points into. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I have no idea how to level these characters. Super low XP for killing enemies. Yeah, we killed like pretty much like 15 or so. It was kind of insane. Maybe 20. I forget how much it said we needed to level. Well, at some point... Okay. So what I remember about this game... Stamina, I think, directly gives us more HP when we level. Strength is obviously melee damage. Dex, I think, doesn't do anything and isn't worth taking. Um, I think it's needed for some spells later. Intellect, I think, is if we have magic damage, and spirit determines buff damage and magic defense, and luck, I think, also doesn't do anything. For now, I'm going to put a point in strength, because we need to actually just kill things. We also don't have magic yet. But I guess at some point we could raise her in if we want to. We could talk about it, Chad. We can level it however you want. But for now, I only have melee to do damage, so I need damage. Yeah. I don't even know what abilities this character gets. I've never played as this character before. I'm assuming they're a mix of melee and magic at some point. Okay, I could go to Wendell right now. Can I go to Astoria first and do anything is the question? It's like town of Astoria. Why did he walk away from us before talking to us? Was that a glitch? Why was he able to move while talking to us? I'm pretty sure that was a glitch. Add that to the glitch count chat. I don't think he's supposed to be able to walk around while we're talking to him. Alright, so I could get a couple wishes for later. I have like a million candies. How do we access the storage is the question. Oh, that menu lag. Hmm. Hmm. Something. Used to be able to go through Cascade Cavern to the east to get to the other side of the lake. Unfortunately, Wendell's closed it off to keep their city safe. Welcome to Granite Knight. Hope you're doing well. Whee! Center here. Nothing to do in here. Thank you, game. Oh, we pushed through them. Oh, that guy again. Did you hear? Jet's been taken over by Beastmen. Are we next? Multi-story building with the inn at the lower portion. He's sleeping. Do I have to wait till daytime to use this shop? I doubt there's anything interesting I could get yet. Or even if there is something, it's not for party members I have yet. You look like you've journeyed far, young lady. Though your expression shows you still have a ways to go. Cheer up. Sorry to hear your model train died on you, though. Hopefully you could get it fixed or replaced. Ah, there we go. Hopefully you could get it replaced soon. Uh, don't think there's anything else I can do yet since something is triggered. We'll find out in a moment, though. So I could just buy a weapon upgrade, and I think I will. Because we don't have a lot of melee characters, and we're not going to get a melee character until presumably much later. Let's get another six to attack. I do need to figure out how the storage works. So I could put that in storage. But where is storage is the question. I'll have to find it eventually. But having more damage I think is good. I know there's going to be a boss in the caves. 
Here's the guy that said he saw something strange tonight, too. But nothing triggered when we went into town. So what I'm gonna do is move on and see if we trigger a plot point. Anyway, we know we have to go to Wendell, so let's see if we try going to Wendell now. What happens? We bonked. There's an invisible force blocking the way. Hmm. The monster designs are kind of neat. Let me go kill something in case I need to rest at the end to make sure we have cash. Oh, it's slowly becoming daylight, which means I don't have to use the end then. It still takes two slices there, which is not the best. But it's nice to see a day-night mechanic. You don't see that in many games, for sure. And it's kind of nice because it was like nighttime. The rabbites, for example, were sleeping. So the enemies do seem to have different behaviors, depending on the time of the day. So we're going to go back to town in a moment. It's still technically nighttime. I think that's why they're sleeping. Alright, let's go backwards then. So we need to do something to advance. So we need something to open the way to Wendell. We know that something will allegedly happen at nighttime. But otherwise, the game has not given us a lot to work with. Other candy went to storage, which is good for later, so I don't have to burn all my MP on healing. I like to have those options. So what do I do? Is it bright enough for me to check with the other shopkeeper? That is the question I'm asking myself. No, he's still sleeping. Uh... I know vaguely what event is supposed to happen at night. I don't recall if I need to do this before doing what I need to do at Wendell. Do I need to sleep at the inn to progress is the question. I'm gonna go see if the guy says anything different now that it's daytime. And if not, we'll just try sleeping at the inn and seeing what happens. Since at this point, we just need to advance the plot somehow. So I'm trying to think of how to get out of it without looking it up directly. Might as well as get money since I'm here. Oh, that was a one shot. Sorry, treasure chest. I was leaving already. I'm not going to save until we're done. Nice double strike. So yeah, so unfortunately, because we're so early in the game, without having, like, literally all their abilities in front of me, I also don't really know how to build the character. Bit of unfortunate. Alright, so nothing has changed here. So let's try sleeping at the inn and making it nighttime again and seeing if that's good enough to advance. I think we have enough money, so I'm not gonna bother killing anything else unless this is on the way. Get some free strikes anyway. I'm gonna use an inn so it doesn't make sense to use the statue. Okay, so if I get far enough away from the enemy, I am allowed to run. On the plus side, we are at least strong enough to one-shot, so strength is paying off. Later in the game, I don't think strength will be as useful, but for now, we do need it. So let's try sleeping at the end. If this doesn't progress the plot, I'm gonna shrug my shoulders. Like, clearly we need- okay, let me try during the daytime to go to the cavern. So obviously we need some character to help us get through with the mysterious forces. We don't have magic yet, so that means we haven't met some of the lights that we saw at the beginning of the game. I'm just curious if she says anything new. Nope, okay. So let's go to sleep and see if we can find that mysterious light. And maybe that will give us what we need to progress to the cavern. Okay. 
So already off to kind of a weird start with the game. Where I don't feel like it has a very natural flow to it. Because we came here at night and nothing happened, for example. Now something is happening. Go investigate. Hmm? Huh? What's that? A light? What? Which way did it go? Is it going to the cavern? Nope. Where did you go? Did you go this way? Did you go this way? I don't know where it went, chat. I'll be real with you. I, I just want to get through. These things are kind of not worth fighting right now. Go away. If nothing else, I could just heal with the statue. Oh, there it is. I'm, gonna say, I'm just assuming it was off screen somewhere. Yeah, being able to one-shot kill them off-screen, I think is worth just a quick slice for XP. Doesn't slow us down that much. Our beautiful friend the Rock has helped us defeat the enemy. Bonk. I'm noticing between screens it seems to get rid of our stamina gauge, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh no, chat. A fairy has fallen. Dot dot dot. Are you hurt? Fairy says, Oh, I'm alright. Who are you? I'm Leneth of Laurent, captain of the Amazon Guard. I saw the light from Astoria. Leneth? I have no other option, so I suppose you'll do. What? Never mind. I need you to take me to the Priest of Light in Wendell. I can't fly any further on my own. I am headed in the same direction, but there's a barrier around the cavern. I think we are at an impasse. I can get us through the barrier, but we need to hurry. Something has happened to the Sanctuary of Mana. Sanctuary of Mana? Wait. Big red glow. Thank you from Astoria. I need to go back. Let me rest inside you a bit. You won't see me, but I'm still he- um, But don't worry, I'm still here. Whoa, wait, what? And now they merge with us. Don't delay, we must see to Asoria. Ah! Her voice is in my head. Hurry! Fine. You take Fairy with you. Okay. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Now we have the quick menu here. Bonk. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep leveling str Oh, I can't level strength. Um... Ooh. Intellect or stamina? I just don't know if she's gonna- You know what, I'm gonna play it safe. Let's do one point in stamina for now. Give her a big HP boost. 
And then we can worry about Int later. I'm assuming she's going to end up a mostly melee character anyway, because we started off with her. Versus other characters potentially literally starting with magic. So that's fine. If we make her slightly tankier, that'll save me some heals later, potentially. Since I couldn't level damage, it's fine. I do notice that I have to basically wait for that little victory sound to go off before I could get X... Not XP, before I could get the, uh, chest. So that could cause me to miss them if I'm going too quickly. So I'm hoping with the extra point in strength and stamina that will let us get through. Let's go to Astoria, I suppose. Oh, hey, it's on fire. What? What happened? Where is everyone? This looks like the work of the Beastmen. Those cowards. We have to get to the Priest of Light as soon as possible. Wendell's in danger. Well, yet another town got destroyed, chat. We can't even go in the inn anymore. That man sleeping up there, who knows what he had for sale. He's dead now. Good thing I have all those candies, right, chat? <laughs> Just can't purchase them now. So let's try the cave again. Give me a moment. I'll get rid of the barrier. There, you should be fine now. Cascade Cavern. Whoa, these things hit for a lot of damage. And they're level 3, apparently. Hmm. That's not good for us. Well, we see a place we could heal, but I... Oh, I can use it. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to touch it. If we had to come back later. But fortunately, that little bit of water did not deter us. Batmo. Oh, missed the Wind Sphere. At least I didn't use it up when I missed. So now the XP is definitely way better. I guess I could go to the left here to see if there's any items or something. Nope. It's the waterfall. Enemies did not respawn immediately, which is good. I'm gonna go down first. And it's kind of like a game of keep away. There we go. Just seeing what I could get away with. Without getting punished. Chest, you gonna be candy? Indeed. More candy for later. Set of doors over here. Eek, help me! I don't think we found our other par party member. Ah, hurry! Ooh, I thought I was a goner, but you saved me. I'm Twinkle. I'm a famous beauty from Wendell. This is no place for one so young to play. But, but... I think we're gonna get her flashback now. I grew up with no parents, but there was one priest that was always nice to me. He was kind and helpful. He took care of me. Oh man, this character must be so annoying when you hear the voices. Grandpa asked he to go to Astoria to work on something, but I got a really bad feeling about it. I think JRPG characters don't take bathroom breaks, I guess. I don't want anything to happen to Heath, so I followed him in secret. Spring. By a horrible twist of fate, a strange man took Heath away right when I found him. She cries. Goodbye, other character we won't interact with, question mark. Maybe we will. And then I couldn't even go back to Wendell until you opened the barrier around a cavern. <laughs> even in the text, she's annoying? Oh, yeah. 
Some things never change. So we have basically a hybrid character at the moment. I got a little lost on the way and we have a pure spellcaster, but we're really early in the game. So this is going to be an interesting and I fell down. If you hadn't been there or there were, it would have been good night twinkle. That was close. Well, young lady, I'm on my way to Wendell to see the priest of light. Would you care to join me? Oh, you want to see Grandpa? Why didn't you say so? You didn't know it, but you helped your chances. I'm actually the granddaughter of the Priest of White. Come on, Schwopoke. I'll take you to my Grandpa, to Wendell. Oh, great. Yo, she joined higher level than me? Yo, this is BS. <laughs> like, chat, I, I think we can agree. I killed a lot of more than I'm supposed to. How did she outlevel us? Okay, so I can briefly control her by holding the R button. I saw earlier. How did she even get XP? I have so many questions. Alright, so... If I hit L and R, I switch who I'm doing in terms of item menus. I'm assuming because she doesn't have any spells yet, I don't see any other options. So, there's that. At least leveling should be faster with another party member. Wow, seriously? They interrupted my attacks like three times in a row when I hit the special? That really sucks. So what was down here? Was there anything? You're trapped? Apparently just a trap. The exit appeared, nice. So I'm probably gonna pump spirit on her and then maybe I'll pump this character's intelligence, maybe? Once we're out of the initial parts. Because obviously we need strength for them to clear casually as we play through the game. And definitely the final character we get is gonna be like all strength. But I could try a hybrid approach. I don't know if this character, the other character actually gets offensive magic or not, but we'll find out eventually. All the baby talk, I bet she gets XP about beating up cats and other children. Charlotte sucks. There you go. Chad already a big fan. I think that means I need mine more XP to level, if I'm looking at that correctly. Yeah, I don't plan on leveling Spirit, because I don't want this character as a support character, if we can avoid it. That level up when I was attacking was crazy rude. I almost hit it on something we didn't need. So that's ruled out. I don't want to level Dex or Luck at all. Why don't we level Intelligence in case she gets attack magic? I don't know. I'd prefer to... We'll, we'll do what we need to do, I guess. I would rather focus her to be like stamina in or something, so she's like a somewhat tanky mage. But I'll do three stats for now if it's gonna force my hand. We'll use candy in a little bit. Oh, random chest. Oh, actually I should have healed first. So now we have an, a decent amount of HP. We barely have more than the little girl, so that tells you how squishy our party is. Oh, unfortunately, they can go off screen without catching us, so that's already a big improvement over Secret Amana. Oh. Well, that was easy. I was expecting more of a journey to get here, to be honest. I have a decent amount of cash. Gives me okay amount of defense. Guess I'll wear it for now. I will try not to buy too much equipment because this menu drives me crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, look at this. But since it is the protagonist, I will try to put it on. For a moment there, I think the defense glitched. 
I'm pretty sure the display glitched there. It was telling me 16 to something, but I had nothing selected. It looks fine now after I moved the menu slightly. 10 cups of wishes. Oh, there are hidden items in this game. Oh. Interesting. Good to know. I mean, getting a free revive is kind of huge this early in the game, not gonna lie. So I guess I'll check more. I wasn't super checking earlier, because I didn't find anything when I checked a few places. So can't do anything until we come back in the evening here, that's fine. Temple Light is north of town. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Barolia is west of us in a thick jungle. Not even beastmen can get through those trees. That's why they attacked us from the sea by way of Jad. Beastmen, shmeesmen. We have his eminence, the Priest of Light. We have all we need to protect this land. How strong are the beastmen? Alright, so the AI already feels like it's following me a lot better, and being able to really quickly control who does what is kind of useful. So big step up over Secret of Mana in terms of controls. Minus the main menu. The main menu is garbage. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put that in bottom five on SNES so far. Easy bottom five menu. That menu took so bad. Near Tremors in the ground deep in the Cascade Cavern. He's been made it to Astoria. Whatever shall we do? Yeah, things you don't want in your video game. Two plus seconds of lag when you switch menus. Like, what is this, an Ubisoft game? Get out of here. The monsters in Cascade Cavern are more docile on Mana Day. That's the day of the week when most people travel to Wendell. Recently, monsters have been particularly ferocious, even on Mana Day. I haven't seen travelers in quite a while. Good to know, Mana Day influencing potentially some damage. If you're going into the cavern, you should buy some of my grandpa's magic rope. It'll save you if you get lost. Yeah, we don't need that. We have nine candies. That's like having rope. We'll humor you by looking at these. So ideally, because I don't have magic yet, I'm going to probably upgrade my weapons on every character because they have to attack at some point anyway. I can't guarantee it'll be useful in bosses outside the beginning of the game, but at least we should be able to speed up some damage on some random encounters. What do you mean, cannot equip? Can I not... Do I have to... Do I have to do it as her to see the stat difference? Wait, why did that cancel? That was weird. Oh, she already has it. Well, good thing I didn't purchase that blindly. That would have been bad. Oh well, we tried to get the upgrade. Makes sense that she is the town's weapon, at least. <laughs> Check in here real quick. Double check I didn't miss any items. I mean, I'm probably missing a ton of items, let's be honest. But at least I'll say I tried a little bit. Yeah, nothing here. So a couple wishes is huge, though. As I said before, that's 100 gold. It's like a quarter of our money in one, one shot. And being able to revive is a good thing. Twinkle, where have you been? His eminence has been worried sick. Please return to the temple immediately. Oh, they both say the same thing. Hmm? I'll wait out here. I wept without telling Grandpa. He's probably mad. Twinkle left the party. Lendl supports all people. Grim makes a journey to this land and prayed it for the goddess of Mana's blessing at least once in their lives. What about this shady guy over here? What's he doing? They're the spring steppers. They're strange mushrooms that grow in the forest. Jump on them, and they'll shoot you into the sky for a bird-eyes view. Called Spring Steppers. Makes sense, I guess. Please don't come back, Twinkle. Sorry, Calvisham. There have been weird thumping noises coming from Cascade Cavern lately. What could they be? Surely it couldn't be a boss chat. Surely it wouldn't be a giant full-screen boss. That, that would be preposterous, especially in a Mana game. Okay. Oh. I was 
expecting that to be the dead end. You know what? I'm just wandering around aimlessly. Wanting to know. I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just picking random doors and hoping plot progresses. Or finding items. One of the above. Nothing when I investigate the bookshelves. Don't set myself on fire. What was the... Okay. Let's try this door. Hmm. Nothing in the barrel. Nothing on the table. Bouquet doesn't say anything. There's a cuckoo clock. Okay. Try going out the front here. Wait, everything's pick a path. <laughs> oh no. Um, I found the balcony. Cool, not where we need to go. Um... Guess I'll go back down the stairs. So what's on the other side here? Is there... Is there really nothing else to do here? I don't think I looked at the other room that was like this. Okay, so this leads to the king's chamber. Or the... Excuse me, the priest of Wendell's chamber. <laughs> the other king is dead. We don't need to worry about him anymore. So what's over here? Oh, it's just the courtyard doesn't do anything. I'm assuming if we were playing as Charlotte, we probably would have been there at some point. I investigated a couple barrels to say that I tried. Now I think we'll look out this door and then proceed with the plot. Uh, don't see anything else to do. Let's proceed with the plot. There we go. Hey, Priesty. Oh. I I thought it was going to start a cutscene and then nothing happened. Maybe I need to press it more than once. That was a bit weird. Priest of Light says, Please, accept the goddess of Mana's blessings. I am Leneth, the princess of Laurent. My country was set upon by the thieves of Navarro. My father, the king, is dead, and my brother is missing. I was unable to save my father and country, but I will not stop until I find my brother. Please help me, your eminence. Lomen has fallen. I fear that without the help of the goddess Amana, there's nothing I can do to help your kingdom. Oh. What? What was... What was that? Did you see that? Why was I able to move in the cutscene there? It, is that a glitch? Why did that happen? <laughs> Awkward, right, chat? I don't think I was supposed to be able to move there, given the, the screen look locked. Barry says, Your Eminence, please listen. I came from the Sanctuary of Mana to tell you the Mana tree is withering. Mana power grows weaker by the day. Withering, but without the Mana tree. The seals on the Mana stones will break, and the Benevidence... What a... I don't like the word for them. Will be released into the world. What is that? I'm acting like this doesn't affect you. Been chosen by the Fairy. That means you alone can retrieve the Sword of Mana from the Sanctuary. What? There's no way. What does this mean, fairy? Sorry, with the mana in the world so depleted, fairy can't leave the sanctuary for long without a host. If I hadn't found you, I wouldn't have made it. I'm sorry, but finding Elliot takes precedence. Please some, please find someone else to be your host, fairy. Chat threatening to ban the other chat people for picking Charlotte. Would that I were able to. However, once a fairy finds a host, they're bound to them for their whole life. <laughs> well, obviously the solution is kill the fairy. They technically join with us without permission, so... I think we're allowed to off them, chat. But I have no time to waste. With this sort of mana in your hands, you can take back your kingdom and find your brother. You can bring peace to your people. Did you read my thoughts just now, fairy? This sounds too good to be true. But what is the sword of mana? Well, you see, Lenneth, they remade Final Fantasy Adventure. The Sword of Mana is the embodiment of the ancient power of mana, guiding force of spirits. It 
It is a form of the golden wand used to make the world. The one who holds the mana sword gains awesome power. Awesome power, chat. The sword lies in the root of the mana tree, waiting. At least I recognize this song sort of from the first game. But before the tree withers, you must reclaim the sword and awaken the goddess Amana. She alone can bring peace and grant your wish. I will go if it means saving the brother I lost to those fiends from Navarro. I can avenge my father and my fallen kingdom with the sword of mana. Where can I find the Sanctuary of Mana? I'm sorry, but if my mana is so depleted, I don't have enough power to open the portal to the Sanctuary. Otherwise, if we did, the game would be over in like 30 minutes. Throughout the world are eight points of mana energy. The mana stone sealing well the fearsome Benevidons. To activate the mana stones, the portal connecting our world to the Sanctuary of Mana should appear. Through that... Through that portal is the sanctuary. However, the energy inside the eight monastones was sealed on purpose as the mana goddess began, began her slumber. So what should I do? There was once an ancient spell used to control the energy from the monastones. However, as countries refused to allow each other control of the spell, war followed, causing as much destruction as the sealed Benevidons. The survivors cursed the magic to avoid future tragedy and forbade anyone from using it. Now the life of anyone who uses a spell will be forfeit. Cool, let's have the fairy cast it. There's no longer anyone who not alive who knows how to work this cursed spell. We dot dot dot. There is one way. We borrow the power of the elemental spirits that reside near the mana stones instead. I can open the portal with my remaining magic. Splendid. You wish to find a mana stone. I've heard many say that the Lightstone is in Cascade Cavern, guarded by the Elemental Lumina. Take Fairy and find Lumina in the cavern. See if we may borrow his light powers. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta go back in there. Oh well, let's proceed. Yeah, if I have to, I'll put points in spirit. I, I just, I just don't know if she has good support magic or good offense. We'll find out eventually, though. Huh? Don't leave me behind. I need to save Heath. I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. There we go. Back in the party. The other character I'm just going to assume will not really help us with magic damage. Given her role as cleric. I think even when I played her, she just basically became the heal bot of the party. But I'm sure we could probably make her do damage if we really wanted to. So with two people attacking, it's not too bad here. So I could kind of like alternate to do combos if I want to. Wow, that XP lingered on screen for quite some time. Got our candy back instantly. That's good. Okay. Cutscene. Wait, stop! Nice music for the area. Hmm. Th there's mana power coming from the waterfall. See that strange hole further up? I bet Lumen is in there.
Gotta go getting late. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Thank you, Calvishim. Yeah, as I said before, I'm aware that Dex is glitched, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Otherwise, I would have been like Dex maybe for accuracy and stuff like that, but let's just avoid that issue. I'm assuming it's not fixed in this version of the game since it seems pretty similar to what I worked on before. I played through the game a long time ago. Like a fan patch. Uh, so I don't see anything to do there. Oh. Trapped again. Ideally, I'm gonna hit level 5 before we get to Lumina, but we'll see. I don't really want to check my menu to see how much XP I need, given that uh, it's very slow. The ring menu itself is fine. Everything else needs improvement. I think my controller is being a bit weird with me. Trapped again. Well, I guess we're gonna level one way or another. Let's level Spirit. Probably Spirit, Stamina, Strength in that order. I'm assuming Spirit is also Magic Defense, but again, I'm don't, I don't want to go in the stat menu to make a determination. We'll probably give her a Stamina after this and maybe a little bit of Strength so that she can actually damage enemies. Is this the hole the fairy was talking about? How do we even get over there? What will you do? Nothing happened. I can use the fairy, apparently, in the menu. Oh, right! Forgot you can't fly! Think I could use the residual mana power in the waterfall to get you over there. Let's give it a try! It is interesting that... Potentially, there's solutions to cross. We did it! Okay, I missed one room, but I'm assuming it's just probably a trap, so it doesn't matter. Level 4. Ooh, zombies and bats are here. That's not good. Get him with a nice little charge special. So, so far, our health is mostly fine. Ooh, the hobgoblins. Which are sleeping because it's nighttime now, which is kind of nice. Oh, 57? Uh, please let me heal. Please let me heal. Holy, what a difficulty jump. Right, chat? Jeez. Another point in strength for sure. That was unexpected and rude. Those goblins were not messing around. So let's make sure we just do more damage. So you can see why I'm... F Did you respawn instantly? Did you see that? Yo, I didn't even leave the screen. The respawn is unreal. <sighs> You're all witnesses, chat. You, I, I, this screen scrolled by like a, like a centimeter and it respawned. Holy... Um... Wow, this just got really nasty real quick. So we'll kill a few more of these, as I said before, for XP reasons. Wow, that was... We got to the healing area, which is unfortunate we had to use the candy. But do you blame me? I mean, we had an attack that did literally half our health, and we can't dodge it because it was an animation. I, I don't think we could have risked it. If it had done it twice, it would have been game over. And we would have needed a couple wishes or come here. So anyway, we're now level 5, which is what I wanted to have happen. We're going to keep fighting stuff for now. I'm a little scared what will happen if we get underleveled. So Charlotte killed the other thing. We killed that thing. There are a lot of enemies here. It feels weird leveling Charlotte's strength, but it would be nice at some point if she did a little more. She's clearly not geared to be a melee character. 
All right, so we're abusing the wall a little bit here. Love it. Let's hoping for a candy there, to be honest. I feel like we're getting very close to a boss. So if I could get, like, little extra XP or something, it could be nice. If nothing else, maybe we could buy armor. Oh, speaking of boss. There's something here! Well, chat, wish me luck. I have a lot of healing, at least. Full Metal Hunger advances. This enemy shows up a lot in the other Mana games. Ooh, Charlotte's going in. Got poisoned. I beamed. I'm gonna cure myself before I lose too much more health. So that's our final cure, so let's just keep doing damage for now. <sighs> Taking a lot of damage here. Now let's just use some of our candies. Again, chat, I remember this game being kind of brutal with some of the fights. Especially since we don't have melee characters. Holy Bolt. How much is that gonna do? Presumably not a lot. She has the most spirit. Our spirit is not that great, so we might take more. Yeah, 30. Oof. So yeah, that tells me Spirit definitely is involved with magic defense. Die bomb, oh no. Right, so she's gonna die due to poison. Let's heal her. I can afford to not heal for a little longer. But oh my gosh, Chad, if we did if we did not stack up candies. I would have been in big trouble. Can we all agree? Big trouble if I wasn't at max candy. Because this boss fight is still going on. Also, thankfully, we've been leveling strength so we could get through the beginning portion of this game. Ooh. So yeah, the beginning of the game is going to be probably the roughest. Because we just don't have the ability to kill this enemy quickly. I think it just healed itself, but we're doing pretty good damage. I just got a little extra damage there. Charlotte's getting kind of low, which is a bit concerning. I think I gotta heal her in a second. Uh, 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 let me heal, let me- Oh, you- The text locks you out of the heal? That sucks. Ooh, 2 HP? That was uncomfortably close. Uncomfortably so. There we go, kill the boss. <laughs> wow, chat, that was... Good to know, if the, if the if the text pops up, no more menu for you. So GG. And we got full healed. What is that? Hey yo, looking for, Lu for Lumina? That be me! Nice to meet ya! Thanks for releasing me from that monster! Who knows what would happen if you hadn't come? Fairy filled me in while you were fighting. Telepathy's great, huh? <laughs> okay, okay, that made me laugh. That made me laugh a little bit. <laughs> Wait, listen, it just happened off screen. Just trust me, we're not gonna cutscene you. We'll, we'll take it though, we'll take it. Just like Fairy, we elementals need mana to live. I'll help however I can to make sure we save the mana of the world. Lumina, where's the Lightstone? Straight up from here, deep from the within the old ruins. Can't exactly get there from here. It's safe though. For now at least. It's so unstable, it seems like the Benevidon could be sealed or unsealed at any minute. We gotta get the rest of the elementals on board and open the portal to the sanctuary. Obtain powers from light elemental lumina. Okay, now we have a purpose for MP. Huh? Look, there's a crack in the wall. Perhaps it's a shortcut. 
nice try. Oh. Wait. We didn't unlock spellcasting? What? We have moves to moves to do here. Maybe because we haven't technically touched the stone yet, it hasn't unlocked? That's how that works. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go back and save our game. At least we need to hear the victory music as we get through here. Nice, got poison. Cool. Candy? Medicinal herb to remove poison. Okay, we got our medicinal herb back. Worth it. Nice double hit. Clean. Nice strike. Almost got a double hit there. Man, there's even a delay from when you can use the charge attack. That's kind of unfortunate. Because I'm getting hit there waiting for it to, uh... Waiting for it to activate. Like, I press the button. It's not me just waiting, Chad. Like, there is a big delay. Just to make it very clear. Like, I'm hitting, like, A, 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 and it's like, oh. Like, here I'm mashing it. You can see how infrequently I attack. So there's, like, a good second and a half delay between attacks. Well, anyway, we got extra money. I'm just saving our progress. There we go. We've done it. Let's keep going for now. We're still pretty early in. I don't know if we'll get to the third party member, because I honestly don't remember when they appear at this point. Other than presumably not too far after this point. Getting poison there kind of sucks. Uh, Let's raise her HP slightly. The way she doesn't die to like random spell damage. I am taking an insane amount of poison damage. Can we talk about this? This is not okay. So she leveled again. If I have to, I could give her an extra point in strength just so she kills faster. Right now, it's not like it, it's like not good, but it's not like preventing me from getting kills. Levels are bad, but I'm sure it'll get worse as time goes on. Oh, let's not save the game. Let's proceed. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get past them now. I'd like to not do any more fights if we can avoid it. Yeah, let's just reset the screen. I do find it's kind of sad that you can't just walk by them quickly. Like, it forces you to do the special move. Because special move and run are the same button, just for chat clarity. And another medicinal herb, which is fine. We might need it later. I'll probably double check how to get items out of storage. I'm assuming we have it with us at all times. But obviously I don't want to be in the menu for too long. Alright, so I can get... Spirit up and intellect up, stamina up. Uh, definitely stamina. Because if we get stamina, it's kind of like raising spirit, but without needing to uh, potentially level support magic. So I'm better against physical attacks in general, which is good, because that's what we're taking a lot of damage from currently. Dream read. Okay, that's a new item. Don't know what it does. Guess we'll find out eventually. What will you do? I use Lumina here. Nothing happened. Nope. So you can hear that sound effect because that's what we did when we're in the ring menu. Oh well, we'll use the fairy to make the bridge again. So yeah, so our our like spirit tank will be basic. Oh, we just got destroyed. What do you think you're doing? We got destroyed by Beastman instantly. Thanks for taking down the cavern barrier. Now nothing's stopping us from invading Window. This is a present to show our appreciation. No! <laughs> Let's get going, says Beast Ludgar. Anyway, we got destroyed instantly. So what I was saying there is that Charlotte's kind of our magic defense tank anyway. We should probably be our melee tankish character. 
What do I do? So I guess I could also level, level Spirit on the other character. So maybe, maybe she's going to be like Intelligence, Stamina, Strength, and the other character will be Strength, Stamina, Spirit, and then the other girl will also be Strength, Stamina, Spirit. As I said before, sadly Dex doesn't work. Uh, at least I'm assuming it does it in this version. Aside from learning spells on one of the other characters. Sadly, there aren't a lot of uh, stats that we can really take advantage of. The mana tree continues to wither. It's also possible because we have a spirit character, I don't even need to level spirit. I could just go double intelligence. I could level both this character and the third character the same way, maybe. A hero must take the sword and awaken our goddess. Let us ask the Priest of Light for guidance. We must not delay. Let's go. Meanwhile, back in the fairy world. can't continue. What do you mean? We're so close. Well, now we're seeing the origin story of the fairy, I guess. I can't make it to the other realm with my powers. I'll leave the rest of it to you. Please hurry. We cannot continue either. Please go on without us. Find our hero and save the monetary. So I'm assuming the four streaks of light from the very beginning of the game were the fairies that we're seeing now, just in a different interpretation. Wait, where? Oh, hey, hello, third party member in the jail next door to us. So yeah, maybe it's not even worth leveling spirit at all, unless I really think I could get a benefit from, like, spirit damage. Because I'll put it this way, if we have a dedicated healer, all we really need is HP. <laughs> Just be real with you. Excuse me. Release me immediately. Shut it. No one's coming anyway. Let's talk to this character. Chat chose him. Oh my. I'm sorry. Do you know where we are? Names need a haircut. I'm a swordsman from Valsina, and here is the stronghold of Jad. Well, the prisons. I saw the beastmen bring you in here. Need a haircut says, Those fiends are the worst. Usually they'd be no match for me, but they caught me in my sleep. Same with you, right? Those cowards. Hmm. I'll get the drop on them yet. Wait there, I'll get you out. East guard says, quit your yak and keep quiet. Knew I smelled something foul. Guess it was you. Why you? Get back. I'll shut that mouth myself. Wow, he got tricked ultra easy. Wait, uh oh. Ha, huh. oof. There, you're free. Let's get out of here. Cool. Well, let's at least go further. Talk to this character. Now to the docks. There should be one boat left. We gotta get out of this town. While the beastmen are attacking Wendell, their forces are spread thin. 
We could catch that boat before it sets sail. I heard the townsfolk mention it before I got caught. You look beat. Offer a prayer to the monastery statue and you'll be healed completely. Just hurry. Hmm. Need a haircut has joined the party. Ooh, if he only joined at level four? Oh, you thought you thought I was gonna beat that boss at level three? You're a mad game. Also, controller, please stop. I beg of you, stop it. There we go. HP and MP are restored. So, yeah, at this point, it's me just deciding. Do I think he has attack spells or support spells? I'm gonna guess he might have just support spells, so maybe spirit makes sense. I'm like 50-50 on it. Curses, you got me. Yeah, that was a pretty stupid trap. I love his HP is almost as good as ours already. We'll very briefly look at his equipment. Oh, jeez, the menu. We'll look at his equipment. So he's got an iron sword. How do I look at the other character's equipment? Uh, partner Bunner doesn't do anything. Does Select do something? It does. So he's 27 strength. Honestly, 18 magic defense is okay. It's lower than the others, but he's got way more total HP, it looks like. Interesting. A willing granddaughter of Wendell, priest of like whack bam. Healing magic. 3 MP, pure light recovers HP. Okay. Hmm. So we do have a heal character now already, which is good. I like the day is dryad, the hour is shade. Nice. So I guess I could technically tell them to do other things. I'll tell him to assist me with crosscut. So I'm assuming later on in the game, I, I really honestly don't remember, we get other kinds of specials to unleash based off of the classes that we gain. Okay. So let's try this team out and see how it goes. As long as they assist me, I think I'm mostly happy. Yeah, his damage is basically on par with ours already. You won. It's kind of funny that they go into beast form at night, but they're so easy. Meanwhile, they're like walking gods in the daytime. Like reverse werewolf. Hello, character that's here. Ah, save me. I already did. You idiot. Just leave. Okay, so we have a ton of cash, so I can get some weapon upgrades as needed. Whoa, did you see me spin that attack? What was that? I don't think that was intended. How did I do that? It was like... I did the swing, but then like I reoriented the swing. Is it like... Oh, I kind of did it there. Interesting. But anyway, now it feels like we're straight bullying, which is good. I always want to be straight bullying. So, okay. I guess I'll have to make a judgment call. I'll make him strength first. Then stamina, then spirit. Which is kind of funny because it's similar to Char Charlotte. Charlotte will level spirit first. Then con, then uh, strength. Level 4 Howler. I'm really not scared of you. Oh, we're back here. Oh. Interesting. Well, we didn't make it very far. <laughs> we're back to the beginning town. Oh, you guys are so done. I mean, I think we just single-handedly destroy their entire army. Oh, I can't hit them from there. So sad.
Hmm. I can't tell whose menu I'm in when I do this. I didn't notice their profile image lighting up at all. Try that again. Alright, so now when I'm in this menu, I can see it. Oh, maybe I'm in her menu now. I think I see the color. So I could force her to heal if I need to. If I do this... Okay, now I think it's behaving as expected. Or I missed it earlier. Okay. So yeah, we have the ability to heal with her. So we have... What is that? Six heals without using candies? That's the only purpose of her MP, which is kind of nice. Will you sell us armor now? Oh, you're not here. You suck. Does the pub have anything new? Nope, they're gone. Well, I guess we just leave. I don't see what else we would do. I mean, I could double check to make sure I didn't miss any items, but... Doesn't feel like it, there's anything to do there. Yeah, it feels so much better. They're allowed to get further away from me. They don't lock the camera. So overall, a lot happier just moving around in this game. Kind of wish this game had a bit of a small combo system, like time presses. <laughs> Maybe that's the PSO in me. I just want like a triple hit combo. Oh. What do you want us to do? Oh, the boat, the boat. Did mention the boat, to be fair. Get aboard, quick, we're setting sail. All aboard. I mean, we basically just killed their entire army. I don't know why the other villages are losing to this. Interesting dual map system. You got like the zoom in map in the upper right and then the world map in the upper left. I kind of like that. We wasted too much time. We have to get to Maya and find the rest of the elementals. Mm hmm. Whoa, what's that? She did not mean to startle you. This is Fairy from the Sanctuary of Mana. We are looking for the elementals and reside near each monastone, so that we may open the portal to the sanctuary again. Ha! Huh. You're the one with the Priest of Light mentioned. I was looking for the person chosen by Fairy. You talked to Grandpa too? Wow, everyone wants to see Grandpa. How come? Well, it's like this. Let's get his flashback real quick. When I was doing royal, or excuse me, when I was doing guard rounds at Castle Valcina, wizard forced his way inside. I tried to fight, but I was no match for his magic powers. From a family of sword masters, but that cur's magic chewed me up and spat me out. I've lost every last bit of confidence. He ain't seen the last of me, though. I'll show everyone that the way of the sword can be just as powerful as magic. And then if we teach him spells later, it'll be like we're cheating on his initial premise. There's no way I can win right now. That's why the king let me go to Wendell to learn how to switch my class. I'll find that wizard and make him pay. Mark my words. Is gonna automatically do it. That's fine. We'll press it again. Answer me straight, fairy. If I go along with this, will the mana goddess grant my wish? Certainly. You can become the world's strongest swordman. Let's do this. Hmm. All right, I'm in. And so for a sake, the spells aren't everything. They, they kind of are, to be honest. I think we're going to be given a bit more of a breather, that there's some damage in between spells. 
But honestly, for boss battles, it's definitely going to be an all spell world. Free City of Maya. Hmm. Let's see. Welcome to the Free City of Maya. Since we regularly, regularly travel from these docks to the Jad's stronghold. Head west from here and take the Golden Road to get to the merchant town of Bazir. Lots of traders used to come to our town, but the road is infested with monsters. Now hardly anyone comes here. The entrance to Dwarf Tunnels and Stone Split Gap. That's where you can find those folks. Hmm. Words for now. This is the house of bon Von Voyage instead of Von Voyage, the alchemic inventor. Saw some weird machines in his backyard. Okay. Yes, yes, hello. I'm Von Voyage, and you are. Never mind, it hardly matters. Simply must see my invention. Wait for me in the backyard. Is it a cannon? I'm Von Voyage's sister, Von Sor. My brother says he's an alchemist, but he's just a regular inventor. It's never meddled with metals, after all. It is indeed a cannon. <laughs> you want to know what this is, right? Right? Just wait. So, one easy way from to Valsina from Maya, and that's the bridge. The other way down the treacherous Golden Road is full of monsters. However, behold, with my new deluxe super cannon. We can reach it in one blast. I'm almost done. So, what do you think? Hmm. Oh well. I mean... I, for now, I don't really want to use it. So I was thinking about it, and I'm like, nah. Nah. Hmm. I'm also contemplating, like, which characters to go light and dark on. I probably just want to stick to light with the healer, so that way we'll emphasize potentially healer stuff. There's a second merchant here. Why are there two merchants? You're the candy guy. And these are very cheap, I might as well buy them back up. Plus, I haven't figured out storage yet. Um... So this is the same weapon I'm already using? Why are the stores so bad? How am I two shops in the game and not found a single weapon upgrade? This is actually BS. Let the shops burn, chat. Let them burn. Like, I know Iron Sword was one of the ones we had already. Um... I'll get him the upgrades because I have enough money anyway. Better. Oh gosh, I'm pausing. What a mistake. Ah, so there's another another menu. Interesting. Alright, so start is also a menu. X is a menu. Y is a menu. X is a menu. There are a lot of menus in this game. And now I understand how to get to storage. Slowly increase your defense. I don't think I like need it, need it, but it's nice to have, I guess. Oh jeez. Canceled my menu there, that was unfortunate. I think I already have this the sheep pajamas, unfortunately. 
For now, I'm gonna hold on to them. Well, this actually also granted him magic defense. Interesting. Minions are not this game's strong suit, definitely. Well, escape jab. I heard rumors before we left the Priest of Light risked his life to put a barrier on Wendell to repel the beastman. He made his eminence fall so dangerously ill he collapsed. A young priest named Heath is the only one in Wendell who could cure the deadly sickness. But who knows where he is? This could be bad. Oh, you sure taught us a lot of information. No, not Grandpa. I've got to go back. Winkle, I'm sorry, but we cannot return to Jad. We must find the Sword of Mana and search for Heath before we can help his eminence. <laughs> Grandpa! The other branch takes you to the Valsina, governed by the Hero King. Interesting. Looking for Mana Stones, huh? I reckon His Majesty the Hero King of Valsina knows a thing or two. King of Valsina is a great swordsman. He and the Golden Knight used to slay menacing dragons around the world. As a lad, I looked up to the pair of them. Yeah, the fact that I don't seem to be able to hit, like, select or, like, LR to do it is really a choice. It's a choice. Because you think it, you would, but, like, unless I'm missing some, like, magic button combo, the things that you normally do to swap allies don't do anything in the shops. I just got them stuck somewhere. So I would have loved a weapon upgrade, but there are none. So joke's on me, I guess. Well, this rabbit is crazy dead. Random canny. On the plus side, it means I have a ton of healing items in storage. So it's already much more forgiving than Secret Amana when it comes to that. Get a little bit of XP here and there, because technically our fighter is very underleveled. Chobin Hood. I was going to say, it's like Robin Hood. Chobin Hood. I remember you from future Mana games. More than the other ones. So I could teleport to the other place, but given that I need to level our characters, I'll just do it as is. Plus we get a better understanding of the layout if I don't skip ahead. Oh my gosh, I almost hit a button there. Uh, absolutely strength. So I'm gonna guess by his layout, pro since spirit is higher than intelligence, I will level spirit. That is my deciding factor. But he gets strength first, because that's all I care about. Nice little easy kill on him. So we know there's a split path at some point. One will go to the trader town. Slash merchant town. The other will go to the destination we need to go to. I'm not sure how open world this is, to be honest with you. Since it's been a long time since I played. She took crazy damage. Oh, I thought I had charged. That sucked. We're getting back attacked? That's rude. We just came from there. Where did you come from? I need to remember. There's no two ring menus in this game. So she can only single target heal currently. Wow, she literally could full heal herself. That's kind of useful. Sound split gap is where the dwarves come from. I don't think I need to do anything with them yet. I mean, I'm just kind of arbitrarily picking a direction. So, I mean, nothing technically stops me from going here. So, I might as well just keep going. Oh, hello. Atina Mage says, Who goes there? A Valsinian soldier? You think you can walk away from us unscathed? Never! 
Wait, what are you doing? Stop. What reason do you have to attack us? Eh, the scary lady looks angry. Silence. You are enemies of the kingdom. Bring out those magic devices. We'll trap them on the bridge. Take this. Are they going to destroy the bridge while we're on it? Huh? Oh, magic devices. It's Kilroy, a.k.a. the robot. That did insane damage to the entire party. Um, cool. Please your healing magic, save our candies. Oh, she didn't change her target. That was awkward. Fine, we'll heal her manually then. Alright, so it should just be only a couple of them left at least. Take some big damage there. Yeah, like, why does LNR not do anything here? I'm just kind of confused. Like, why does it sometimes work and then sometimes not? Is it because she's, like, in an animation or something? Okay. So use A candy, which is fine. Because if we get all of our HP MP back, it doesn't really matter here. Ugh, everyone retreat! Hmm? It did the low health noise. Isn't gonna go kaboom. It's a bomb! It is gonna go kaboom. Yeah, so I'm guessing either there's like a delay in the animation or maybe she's attacking and I couldn't use the spell cast there. Is everyone alright? Oh, this is not good. How should we get to Valsina now? So, was this completely skippable by just taking the cannon, by the way? I wonder. Is it he was offering to go to Valsina, I think. Anyway. I mean I'm gonna go to the other place first before we do anything else. I notice we're only getting one XP for them, so maybe our level slowly drains how much XP we get from enemies. Probably a candy. I might as well open it. I did use one earlier. So at this point, I'm just looking to move to the next area. If they happen to get kills as we go through, I'm okay with it. Merchant Town Bazir. It's the Merchant Town. The Merchant's Guild has received intel. The Magician's Altina in the north are preparing to attack. You could be one of their spies. No outsiders are allowed in the city at this time. Go away. Like Charlotte bobbing her head. Also, why does she basically have like giant clown shoes and a jester's cap? Just gonna ask the real questions there. Oh, I almost got through the area without triggering the fight. So now it's not super worth fighting, other than to speed up when I can run. Like, I'll do a couple stabs here and there. Ooh, an actual one-shot. So her strength is paying off. Oh, there's the glitch. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, if, if I'm an attack animation, I could just whirlwind that. <laughs> That's absurd. <laughs> I remember doing that in, uh, what was it, Legend of Zelda on stream. You just, you attack once, spin in a circle, everything's a 360. Fine, I'll take your candy or whatever. Or not. 
Oh, medicinal herb. We don't have a lot of those yet. Tranquil is cute. She just needs to not talk. I'm not into cute chat. I'll be real with you. I want useful. You level spirit. No. It is really hard to see. Okay, chat. Let's talk about UI decisions. Why wouldn't you just move the ring of stats to be a static position on the far left? So that way I could see the stats. Like, this is stupid. Like, I can see this is grayed out, so I can't do it. But it's like 85% <laughs> of what I'm selecting is not visible. Really dumb. Uh, more stamina, why not? Yeah, like, that's just actually dumb. So again, we'll make her slightly tankier. Strength is not technically needed if she's spellcasting. Oh, actually, was that another path I could have taken there? Yeah, I think they did it based off the character position, but, like... I mean, like, the obvious question is, like, what happens if you're lined up with the menu? Alright, so I could do this to get a good look at the world. Why not? Let's take the spring step. Little callback to Secret of Mana. Let's crash and burn here. So we have a ton of cash. I'm ignoring some fights, but we are getting a lot of kills, so I don't think I'm underleveled by any stretch of the imagination. I definitely don't like fighting the zombies, which is the side effect of fighting at night. <laughs> Looks like the bats also come out, which is annoying. Oh, I was trying to hit him with my super attack just to get a free kill. Oh well. So again, if I swing- oh, jeez. So if I swing... Someone's spirit. Intellect, I think is... Oh. Um... So it won't let me select strength or stamina. So I guess I'll raise intellect then. I don't really have another choice. Oh, there we go. I, I, did, I spun it a little there to make it look weird. I love doing that. So again, I'm hoping she gets some damage. Oh, jeez. Hoping I get some damage spells. Uh, Strength is capped. Let's get stamina on him. So again, the more HP they have, the more HP they could get healed from <laughs> or healed by. So my defenses don't matter as much. Then we'll give him spirit after this. So technically he'll get some additional magic defense. Given that he already has more health than pretty much everybody, despite being a level under. Looks like he's gonna end up pretty tanky. And yeah, we got a spare candy, sure. It looks like the XP gain is a lot better than the beginning of the game. The XP was terrible. Now it's like now that it's at least two XP, it's a lot more reasonable. So I guess we'll take the cannon travel. I love I lost the AI completely. They're just like derp, <laughs> like somewhere in the background. Oh, hmm? I got caught- I got so caught up in making this ultra-fabulous cannon that I forgot about ignition fuel. I need nitromite to fire this up. Think you could grab some? Not too much work left on my next invention to get it myself. You'll be fine. Wait, where do I get it? Wait, what? What is nitromite? You can't just throw that out there and pretend I know what you're talking about. You're looking for my brother, he went out. Great, I don't know what he wants for that. That sucks. Hopefully we get dialogue here. What's foo? Food? I suppose asking around town is best for now. Do you have anything to say, small child, that I can't talk to? Why can't I talk to you? 
No, nothing new. Um... So selling things is okay. Okay, so selling in this area is fine. So again, we have a ton of cash. Is it just this menu that was acting weird with me? I just want to verify. Yeah. Why, why can I swap who sells in the other menus but not the weapon menu? I swear, chat. They need to have a long talk about UI design. <laughs> Why are those two menus different? I have so many questions. Hmm. So I have to play find the NPC that will advance the dialogue. Fuel, now that you mention it, I think there was something like that in Dwarf Village. Hey, but can I not go to Dwarf Village? But I just, I just went there. Okay, so they told me I can't go to Bazir, which is fine. There's a secret entrance in Stone Split Gap just before the bridge. Okay. All right, now, ugh, really? We had to go back to town just to be told to go back to the place I just came from. I don't, I don't appreciate that backtracking. That's pretty stupid. I'm not gonna lie. So sad, chat. What a waste of time. Kill them real quick, don't mind me. Yeah, I don't really want to get into prolonged combat here, so I'm just gonna keep moving. And again, our allies might do enough damage to get a kill or two. Sitting me. Yeah, let's use her magic to heal. Oh, she learned a new ability. And what does Twinkle Rain do? Maybe it's a status cure? For now, let's just use Healing Rain. So, levels determine spells. Interesting. Unfortunately, I'm going to pause to check something. Alright, so we can have more than two digits of candy in storage. Good. The other thing I want to check... This menu. Didn't learn any new spells here, which is fine. Alright, so Twinkle Rain is cure status. That's what I thought it did. by random enemies. So we pretty much have a walking apothecary with us, so I'm not feeling too worried about our clear speed potential in terms of if we're going to die to bosses. Eventually it'll be nice to get an AoE heal, but I'm assuming that's later. Did my super attack just whiff? That sucked. This thing, please die, so combat ends. Thank you. I already took poison damage there. Alright, so there's a secret entrance before the bridge, so I wonder if I could have gone there before learning about it? Dwarf Town... Town was supposed to be around here, right? What will you do? Uh, Lumina? We finally get to work. See this wall here? It's actually an illusion made with refracted light. Cool, huh? You know, they used to call this place Gem Valley because of all the crystals in the rock walls. That's how the dwarves disguised the entrance. Here, look! This big rock looks normal, but I could shine my light to nullify the illusion. Well, I was just going to save, but I guess that works. Here's what the entrance to Dwarf Tunnel really looks like. Now get in there. I'm gonna save first. 
I think we could go a little bit further. I think our progress is decent, despite rustiness of the game. Oh, that vibrating as they run really bothers me, I'm not gonna lie. It looks terrible. Uh, oh, there we go. I was like, there's an entrance somewhere. Nothing to do over here. Let's go deeper. Oh, all the dwarves are here. They're like really squished versions of Watt. Nitromite, hmm? Watts has some in his shop. Oh, I guess this Watts is just multi-universal, I guess. Topsoilers, get away! Oh, we got we got slurred on by the dwarves. Something. We're filthy topsoilers. Um Do I care about armor? I don't think I do. We're, we're gonna hard pass. We will take weapons though. Don't get me wrong. Listen, we have so much healing. I think I can afford to skip going through the menus. Dwarf says, watch the shopkeeper done got a job to do. The tunnel's a mess further in. Woo wee, let me tell you. You'll turn right outside the village to go deeper down the tunnel. A lot of monsters, so you should buy some items first. I'm minding the shop. On that note, welcome. Cool. I mostly just want weapons. I don't really care about any of these. I can buy another cup of wish, just in case. Never hurts to have another revive. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna get punished super hard, to be honest with you, for not taking armor. I would like weapons, just so I could do more damage. Yeah, like, missing 10 damage out on a boss is awful. So, like, there's no reason to not do that, because that makes our combat slower. So, potentially adding almost, what was it, 30 damage to our combos? Kind of big. Also means I might be able to one-shot stuff and run by them faster. 10 damage there... Like, see how I swap to a new weapon, but it still says 19 to 25? Instead of 25 to 25? So definitely, oops, they forgot to check the stats again. It's not me hallucinating, they definitely had a bug there. Alright, so he's saying he dug a hole and he found a monster in the hole, cool. It's so off to work I go. That a Snow White Snow White reference. Hi ho hi ho. Let's make it daytime. So that way I fight less annoying enemies. And this will offer us an ability to save. I like they take their shoes off before going to bed. So yeah, so hopefully with this new damage we should be good. And again, we have a character whose sole purpose is to heal. So like, I, I should be able to get be able to play fairly aggressively. Ideally, I'll get more uh, AOE heal, as I said before. Here we go. Looking for Watts, he's further down the tunnel. Give me a sec, I'll make a path for you. We got exploded. Ha, huh. you're kind of weak for adventurous, huh? Well, be seeing ya. Oh, they're still only level 4. I don't care about these enemies. But hey, at least we're basically one-shotting, as I said before. That's where we want to be. I don't think I care about the items that are dropped. We're just gonna try to murder our way through. Oh no, not the hedgehog. Sonic, go away. It's not even the Genesis. Just checking for chests, mostly. Anyway, as long as I keep making progress. Oh, I found Watt. Hmm. Do I have to kill them to talk to him? No, can't talk to him. There's a chest, though. Another medicinal herb. Don't think I need that at the moment. Okay. 
Let's see if we could talk to him by going back here. Oh, he's gone now. Oh no, he's over here. Hmm? Yeah, I'm Watts. Who's asking? Oh, you want nitromite? I got some here. It'll cost you, though. 5,000. Yeah, no way. Not an easy mark, huh? How about I could give you a discount? How's 3,000 sound? No. No? Guess there's no deal, then. Hang on. Oh, wait. I ain't got the time to chat. Looking for Gnome, our patron elemental. He ain't nowhere to be found. There's been so many dang earthquakes and rumbles down here. Came to check on Gnome, but he was gone. What a mess. I wonder what it would have happened if I just bought it and left. No time to waste. I'll be going deeper in the caves looking for Gnome. No, wait. Oh, he's gone. It honestly wasn't that much gold. If we didn't buy the upgrades, we would have been like 2.5 thousand. Including the other armor we got earlier. Yeah, as I said before, I might as well just go back once I've killed them all. Another candy I don't need. But hey, it's more candy for the end of the game. That's just how I view it. Hmm. Going through the crisscross path we saw earlier. We're starting at level 5. So I, I might be over-leveled? I'm not sure, because I'm level 7. If the game it always intends me to be slightly higher level than the enemy, I'm not really sure. You're really not gonna use your special, thank you. Oh, pop goblins. I'm gonna kill him so he can't throw a weapon at us, because that'd be super bad for us. I pressed it too early. I did. Painted hand axe. Okay, I took damage there. So let's use healing after I see what this weapon is. Oh, it's not a weapon. Uh, what? Is it a con oh, wrong button? Is it a consumable? Oh, it, it, yeah, it's inconsumable. I guess that makes sense. Alright. So I could just projectile smack somebody in the face, I guess. I definitely did not remember that was a thing, but it's also possible because I just skipped treasure chests after a certain point in time. Like, all I want to do is just go to the other door. Okay. That was a very suspicious looking room. Nice, they're all sleeping. Love to see it. There's a save point over there. See, so yeah, I think as soon as we get Gnome and deal with whatever boss is here, we'll take a little break. I think that'll be good plot progress. I was gonna say, you wait for there to be a chest up there. Yeah, we're giving our other character a chance to catch up in levels while still making progress through this dungeon. That is not who I was targeting. That was a rude game. I'm really surprised that was not a level up for uh, the fighter. Unfortunate. Guess his hair got it in the way. If only he had that haircut. So there's a down path and a left path. What happens if I go down here? Save we saw earlier. Makes sense. I'm getting a little injured, but I'm not sure I want to heal yet. Once I get to like 40 HP, I definitely want to heal. But until then. Ooh, they're level 6 now. So I think I caught up in difficulty of the area. They are taking much longer to kill, I'm noticing. We'll get a couple kills here. Oh, jeez. There's strength. Probably just want to keep leveling this. So there's the level up I was expecting.
he won. All right, what I'm gonna do, since I've been getting so many candies, I'm gonna use one on myself. And then use her magic to heal herself. And the fighter is tanky enough, it doesn't matter. Some decent progress. There's the path we saw earlier. Deeper into the mines we go. So yeah, maybe I am the right level for the dungeon. I'm one level over the enemy levels. I'll very suspicious. Hmm? Where'd this hole come from? Got a bad feeling. Ah! Oh, did you hear that? I ain't gonna stick around. Later. Wow, he just left us to die. What sucks in this universe? You're trapped. Jewel Eater attacks. Oh! That's... also a monster in one of the future metagames. Well, good thing we got a lot of damage on our team now. opportunity for her to heal herself. So, so far melee is mostly paying off. So I'm glad we have Durin who does decent damage and I've been leveling at least two characters to be melee. And our healers magic is pretty strong. We're getting diamond sharded which is the gnome attack. Didn't do that much damage to us though. I don't know if he's supposed to go across the screen or not and we're just bullying him too hard for him to do anything. There we go speaking of which. Well, this is why we've got MP. Charts. Hey, we attack. Hit everybody. Let's have her heal herself. So I don't think anybody is super low on HP. And again, our healing is pretty good because we've been leveling spirit with her. Let's slow down a little bit. Ooh, ground slammed. Needs a haircut. So again, there would have been a lot of candies we just burned, but with her healing, I'm not that scared. She's out of MP finally. So we still have a lot of healing to beat the fight, but as I said before, I feel like we're pretty close. Wouldn't be too many more hits, I would imagine. And again, thankfully, we've been leveling. Crank, so this shouldn't be too much longer. He's constantly trying to proc the super attack. That's fair. Using protection. I don't think I really care about that. I care about this. I'm a little worried the fight is still going onwards. I still have an okay amount of healing. I'm really glad we got that. Oh, Charlotte might be dead. Can I stop her from dying there? I don't think I can. No. I 
feel like we're so close. Down to five heals, which is a little scary. As I said before, it's not like I slacked on my weapon damage. And I'm one level above the enemies. We're doing like hundreds of damage. How tanky is this boss? Honest question. I felt like we've done like 500 plus damage at this point. How is this boss fight still happening? Craziness, chat. Uh, hello? This fight please end? I've done at least seven super attacks. I think the fight's over? Because I can't charge meter anymore. Holy. Alright, I'm looking it up. How much HP was that? Three hundred and eighty. Am I looking at that correctly, or is this for the other game? I mean, it it says three D version. No, it's just, there's one for uh one for both versions. Wow, that is just way too tanky, chat. Holy! I was wondering what was going on. We were rocking him with so many hits. I think that was like what nine specials per character. Yeah, that was just stupid. Well, anyway, hopefully we can get more buffs or offensive magic, because that was disgusting. Watt says, everyone doing all right. So that's the legendary subterranean monster jewel leader. Well, I'll be. Tunnel entrance you know as Stone Split Gap we call Gem Valley. Said the jewel leader surfaces in the valley once every a thousand years. First gnome goes missing and now jewel leader appears. What a tarnation's going on. Well, my ears done started burning. Gnome is apparently southern. Gnome, you're all right. Of course I'm all right. I was taking a nap, mind my own business, when Jewel Eater dug a burrow straight through my bed. If I hadn't have woken up, I'd have been that monster's lunch. Ha <laughs> Phew! That ain't nothing to laugh about. Gnome, we need your help. If it ain't fairy, been too long, sister. With the power of the elementals, you can open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana, please. Well, I ain't one to turn down a lady's request. Leave it to me, miss. Chain powers from Earth Elemental Gnome. Hopefully we could get some damaging spells. The Cleric leveled. How's our spirit? Spirit can't level. Wait, no, it's highlighting spirit. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. You have all the colors in the world, and you decided spirit should be similar in color to the can't use. The only difference is that it doesn't shimmer. That is a choice. Let's raise our spirit up for better healing. That is a choice, chat. Um, well, did I learn any new spells? Nope. Huh. So no magic still, which is really awkward on two of the three characters. And the other character's damage is pretty bad now, comparatively. Well, I'll be. You guys are friends with the great and powerful gnome. Sorry for being so rude earlier. Here, you can have the nitromite on the house. Don't need to worry about it. Here, take your nitromite. You take Nitromite. Here, I'll send you right back to the entrance door tunnel with this magic rope. Sure.
Y'all take care now. Give my regards to Gnome. But did that really help us do anything? Or is he going to do something with the bridge later? I mean, I should probably save here, no matter what. Hmm. So let's pause here for now, chat. I have things to ponder about, I guess, in the future. Flesh out a little bit. So I think we can agree, wow, that boss was an HP sponge. I don't know how long that was in terms of minutes. But seeing the boss do at least 10 attacks, maybe 12, was uh, way too long. And given that I was actually keeping up to date with uh, weapons, it was kind of crazy. I guess I got punished a little bit with healing from the standpoint of I did take a lot of damage from certain hits. But, you know, that's fine. I'm not going to complain about that. But what I am going to complain about was, wow. Wow, oh wow, chat. Was that just way too tanky? And it's weird, too, because, like, as I said before, you know, I don't know what the game wants. We, we just started playing the game. I've been skipping a little teeny bit amount of combat, but we also did a lot of backtracking. So I think for the most part, it's evened out. And even if we disregard that, in terms of monster level, I was one level above all the monsters. So we're not even, like, matching. Like, I'm still up a level. So I don't know if it's just because we have Twinkle and she just does not do any damage, which is, I mean, to be fair, she's doing 8s instead of 50s. So, like, maybe that's part of the reason for it. So hopefully, as I said before, we end up getting more offensive abilities or at least support stuff. So like, for example, if uh, needs a haircut is able to get the equivalency of like the saber stuff that the girl had in Secret of Mana, that would be good. If Lenneth ends up getting an offensive spell or a debuff on the enemy, that would be really good. And Twinkle really just needs AoE magic for healing and we're good. So like some combination of those will make life much easier. And we'll just have to see how we get to those over time. But for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to Trials of Mana for today. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.